G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a HP Pavilion with the model number oh, 15 CW1038AU. And on this particular one, what I'm hoping to achieve is adding some more RAM to it. So I'm going to need some tweezers and a Phillips head screwdriver. And I'm going to take the three screws across the front to begin with. I do believe there's going to be a couple hidden within it. I'll unscrew this. I suspect that there'd be a couple of screws at the back of it, which would be hidden under these. One. And two under here. All of which are the same size. That makes it nice and easy. We'll just check at the front to see if there's any under there too. None there. I suspect this one will be the same with none. Also none. Next up I'll use a pry tool to get in there. Uh, I'll start at the back of it. So just push this in here and lift up. And that noise is what you want to hear. I'm going to pry this underneath into the gap that I've just created. From there, it's just be able to pull it around. There we go. Pry it in a bit further. And that very well may happen. It is cracked. You find these bottoms of these HPs to be very well clicked in, but also at the same time very brittle. Slide that along some more. side and continue. I feel like someone at HP should be slapped for making this kind of design, especially with the, other, the outside edges to be soft metal. So as you pry it, it tends to bend. Of course, it's somehow attached in the center. Don't believe it's attached under a screwdriver. I'd say this latch right here is what I'm feeling. Anyway, now that we're in there, let's see what we can change. So it looks like we're able to replace the battery over here, which is a HT03XL. One screw, two screw, three screw, four screw. Very universal. Looking over here, we have a single stick of eight gig. Now I may have another stick to install in there. But that's pretty straightforward to get out. These metal tabs here. Do make sure your device is powered off completely. Pull these to the side. It jumps, flicks up, as you can see there. And these pull out. They only go one way. There's a cutout in the middle. You have to match up down here. 45 degrees. And pull down. You don't have to configure it, you don't have to do anything else apart from installing it. And with this one I'm going to make it run in dual channel. Add another, add another 8 gig. Bring it up to 16 gig in total. And running in dual channel will net a performance boost in most video games, especially with the Ryzen processor in there. So I'd expect a performance increase even if I put in a single 8 or two fours. If I put in two fours, I'd expect that to run better than a single 8. Going over the side over here, 
We have a single Kingston NVMe SSD. This particular one can unscrew. And similar to the RAM, lifts up, wiggles back, and we're out. This one's only 128 gig. And that is the same with the RAM. Slots in on an angle. Should wiggle in, or slight angle, wiggle forward, drop down, and it should line up down here. Once it's lined up, it should be a little screw in, and should be right from there. Next up, this does have the option for a 2.5 inch drive, which luckily for me, I'm going from a HP to a HP. So this one I can actually demonstrate. Should be able to unwind this cable. This is a hard drive flex cable. This should hopefully slide in. A little bit of luck. Like that. Click down. And then we've got this connection here. So it is going to not quite sit right because it wasn't designed for this exact same model. But it will serve the same purpose. I've got the pre-existing drive here. And hopefully, this shell will hold it into place. This one's also out of an earlier HP. And it's not looking promising. So what am I gonna do here? I'll probably just tape it. So I should be able to stick a hard drive connector in, like that, fold it down. And this is not gonna be pretty, but it's gonna do the job. We'll have to redo how this is winding its way there. As we are winding a completely different direction now. I should be able to fold it the other way. Actually. So I do still want it to go that way. I'm going to just have to do a bit of a dodgy and kind of just snake it around and figure it out from there. Rather than having the perfect folds and curves, I think it's just going to be a gradual taper over. It's going to be something like this. Like that. I'll lift this back out, fold it over. I'm going to put tape on here and stick it back in. This will now have a 500 gig SATA hard drive with a 128 gig NVMe and 16 gig of RAM. So a little bit of a boost up from a very basic laptop. Push there, hold it here. We'll need to put a bit of tape over there, I believe, just to keep that in position. So when I put the cover on, it's gonna squish it in a weird way. This one here should do the trick. Some anti-static tape. Connector in, connector in. And while we're here, let's look around the rest of the board. If you do damage your charging port, that's this cable running down here. And it is replaceable and it's not soldered. We do have the Wi-Fi card here that is also removable, similar to the hard drive, uh, to the NVMe. The daughter board here for the card reader. Running up, connecting there. And that pretty much does it on this one. Video connected to go up to the screen. So from here, we're pretty much right to start putting this back together again. I'll zoom this out. There's really not that many screws to put back in. There's the base cover in case you were wondering. Some more pads to go on the hard drive to keep it in position. As it doesn't have its tray like this. But that should be fine. Next up, flip it over. 
push it down like so. Should click and pop and carry on. That's all normal for it. That's it, crack there. And we simply just need to put those screws back in. So I hope this helps helps you with upgrading or replacing parts in your HP Pavilion 15 to CW1038AU or at least the 15 CW versions of this model. I'm going to finish putting these screws back in and I'll see you guys later. Bye.